My name is Spawn Hell Razor. I this is my first video on YouTube and wherever I wherever else I post it. Um, my gaming persona is Spawn Hell Razor, and my name is Quaisha Thornton. I have another profile on YouTube um, with using my actual name. Uh, so I thought I would talk about you know what my gaming channel is and why I came up with the name Spawn Hellraiser. So I started gaming um, since I was about four years old. I don't want to classify myself as like, you know, hardcore casual. I just started playing games when I was four. And I really started getting more into the gaming community um, and keeping up with news uh, probably when the uh, the PS1 came out, around the PS1 or the PS2. Um, I really started getting more games and getting into it when the PS2 came out. The PS2 was probably uh, the biggest collection I have next to Xbox 360 games, um, even though I'm a heavy Nintendo uh, player. Uh, I try to get all the systems because I like just playing different kind of games and playing different kind of systems and platforms. Uh, right now, I currently own a PS3, uh, PS2, uh, Xbox 360, Nintendo Wii, um, Nintendo DS Lite, uh, PSP. I've not upgraded to the PS Vita or 3DS yet. Uh, money, uh, but. You know, I plan to. My next system is actually a Nintendo uh, Wii U. So, uh, why did I choose the name Spawn Hellraiser to begin with? Well, it was 2005, and I was looking around, you know, looking up news, and decided to just create a profile. And my first website I looked up news was uh, GameSpot.com. And I said, well, look at all these cool names. People have these cool names, so where, what, what should I get? So I just figure I say, well, what's my favorite characters? And I, I'm a heavy movie uh, person, so I went with my uh, movie characters. So I said, hmm, Spawn. I love the Spawn series. Uh, comic books, the action figures, the movie, the games. So I said, okay, let me do something with Spawn. Then I like Hellraiser movies. I've watched every Hellraiser movie. Love Hellraiser. So I said, let me put two or two together. And here we have Spawn Hellraiser. So I really like that name. It does sound like a competitive name, maybe, but I am far from being competitive. I have my, you know sessions where if I'm really good at the game and I'll play somebody, I might get a little competitive, but otherwise, you know, I don't really stick with like one game for very long unless it's like an RPG, but even then, if I get, like, if I die too many times or get stuck somewhere, I'll probably move on to the next game and come back to it. So very not competitive, but you know, I understand why people are competitive because, you know, they want to show off their skills, which is fine. Um, so why did I choose to become part of the gaming industry? Uh, growing up, well, actually, I'm the only child, so growing up, I had, you know, watched a lot of movies by myself, played games by myself. My parents introduced me to anime and games, actually. Um, but not until I was probably in high school did I find someone other than my family to play games with and that person was a fellow female gamer and we actually played fighting games before we went to school every day. Uh, I had Tekken 3 on the PlayStation 1 so we played that. Um, my cousin who's actually four year, years older than me we were heavy into playing Super Mario World. That's the only game we played together on my Super Nintendo, which 
I still had up until a couple of years ago, and I actually gave it to her uh, because she was going to use it to teach her uh, her school class the uh, system because she she taught special ed uh, special ed t uh, children. So I've never saw it again after that. I don't even think she asked to borrow it. I think she asked to have it. But anyway, I didn't mind giving it to her because I replaced it with the uh, FC3 Plus system. That plays Super Nintendo, Nintendo, and Sega Genesis games. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, why did I want to become part of it? Well, uh... It started with GameSpot, you know, I was I started joining unions and commenting on articles and really, you know, people was, you know, gravitated to my ideas and, you know, my personality. Matter of fact, they didn't know I was a female <laughs> until about a year and a half later. Uh, I maybe commented on a post saying I was a female or did a blog that stated that I was uh, a female and it kind of changed a lot of things like they was like oh you're female oh my gosh and, you know you got a boyfriend uh, and I was like okay but it was all cool you know it was like whatever it, it was whatever they were my friends so it was um it was fine uh but it but the gaming community attracted me because I really liked the people who were, you know, writing the articles, doing the game reviews. Because back then when I joined GameSpot, their, their uh, editors and their, their authors, I thought it was, you know, way better than somewhat what it is now. But, you know, I really liked their, their work. So I wanted to become a part of that. And, you know just being around gamers who understand, you know, my interests and understand theirs, that's what drove me to the community. Um, then I started, like, uh, you know, I didn't really like the forums uh, or the, the unions of GameSpot because they didn't really update it. So I was like, well, I'm going to go make my own uh, forum uh, group. So I started with what I call... Um, the title Wicked Gaming Community, and I tried to keep that up, but it was hard promoting it, and, you know, so eventually it just, you know, I had to delete it and, you know, just go about my business, but that was when I first started doing my own thing in the gaming community. Um, so why did I pursue a career in the gaming industry? Well, I don't really know, like, what what was the thing that got me thinking like, oh, you know, I must start a business in the gaming community. It started where when I launched the Wicked Gaming community and then I wanted to be different. I wanted to do more than just have a form. I wanted to, you know, um, spread the word about really good, really great content out there that other people were doing that, you know, others didn't know about because of their blogs, their sites were outshined by the big leagues, like, you know, uh, IGN and uh, Kataku, uh, GameSpot. Um, so I wanted to just do more, and then I wanted to have some kind of network going and just a whole bunch of ideas. So I didn't really think about starting a company until I started working in the industry in some way. Um, I started working as a uh, marketing consultant, even though I didn't know anything about marketing at the time. Um, I was tweeting stuff about gaming and a, and a company, well, a startup company liked what I said and just pretty much gave me a job right then and there. So I started marketing a couple of indie game developer um, any game developer studios, the, you know, their games. Um, that's how I started getting uh, experience working on that side of the industry. Uh, and I really enjoyed it. I really enjoy marketing. I really enjoy uh, 
being on the team with researching um, different ways to target an audience for the games. I really enjoy playing the games free. <laughs> you know, I play I play betas though mostly. Um, but it o it's always fun getting a game for free to test it and providing feedback. I really enjoyed that process because uh, I really felt like I was part of the team even though I was just a contract. Like my the company I was working for was just a contractor to do their marketing um, strategies for them. But it was really fun. I enjoyed myself. And since then I realized that uh I would make a really good marketing consultant. So after that, I s pursued a mentorship with a website called Game Mentor Online. You can um, uh, sign up and get a mentor that's already in the industry, and they will teach you things for, I think the mentorship lasts for about six to eight months. So that was very great for me to really understand the industry and also attach myself to an industry figure. So from there, I got an internship with that, with that mentor. And from there, she was teaching me how to start up my own business because that's what I wanted to do at that time. And um, right now, I'm actually doing the site uh, and when that launch I will technically have started the business because my business is uh, going to be a digital agency or online digital agency and so it um, digital advertising agency and we also do promotions so I wanted to promote um, quality you know, blogs, sites, um, content, um, events, uh, tournaments, um, games would be like a separate service that I want to uh, provide, but definitely just advertising and promoting that content. Uh, and I also wanted to do different things in the in the industry, not just doing advertising, but to do marketing and then helping freelancers who are looking for um, jobs to write for other gaming blogs and stuff like that. So my create my creative um, influences came from pretty much. People, other people in the industry um, giving me a chance and I really like that influence and wanted to influence others you know to help to help them um, realize what they wanted to do in the industry or you know maybe just in a hobby um, so that's why I wanted to pursue a career in the game industry um, my goals and dreams for working in the industry, well, I want to um, launch my business, and with that business will come other services. So then through those services, I can um, service the indie game, uh, the indie gaming industry would um, market um, indie games, could be on mobile, um, on PC. Um, Another service would be, um, well, actually, I started a social network for indie game enthusiasts, uh, but that's another video. I want to talk more about, you know, all my services and stuff. That's going to be on another channel. Um, but, you know, as soon as I launch it, I'll let everybody know and put the necessary links for you to go and check it out. Uh, the website right now is called GameInnovation.com, so that's up. You can sign up for a mailing list. Um, so you might want to know what I'm doing with this channel. I'm sitting here just... There's a point to my madness. 
<laughs> so I decided to create this channel. Well, I always wanted to create um, videos. I just never really got around to it. Um, just been commenting on other people's videos on YouTube. But I decided to start a new, deleted my old YouTube, got a new one. Um, but this particular one, my Spawn Hellraiser profile, uh, you know, it's me and my gaming persona. So this is strictly about gaming, gaming related stuff. Um, I wanted to share, I don't want to do like let's play videos or talk about gaming news a lot. I want to stay away from that and have my own thing. So when I figure out what that is, I will let you know. Um, for right now, though, there's one idea that I definitely want to do, and it's mixing the poetry that I make, um, that I write, rather, and mixing that with um, gaming. So I've actually written two poems about games. So I wanted to maybe have a video where a uh, a cut scene is playing in the background, and then I would voice voice over with my poem, or maybe just playing the game and have like gameplay footage in the background, and just you know say my poem like a written word they call it, um, or spoken word. Sorry, not written word, spoken word, um, which I've not actually never done before. So there's a lot of firsts I'm doing. <laughs> on YouTube. Uh, so that's one idea I had. I also have a blog um, called qdtripdgamer.wordpress.com um, and I share um, my experiences with you know the gaming industry and gaming um, from a female perspective but you know I am a gamer first and foremost. I'm not a feminist. Uh, I talk about sexuality versus video games, like the sexuality um, being influenced on video games and vice versa. I am actually a very sexual person, so I don't have a problem with sexuality, you know, half-naked women, half-naked men. You know, it is what it is. When we're first born, we're naked, so whatever. But... Um, you know, I do recognize that there's appropriate behavior and non appropriate behavior, or there's when you're um, marketing to a certain audience, you know, you have to include, you know, that audience with, you know, what you're doing. And what I mean by that is you have to market to, you know, their image. And there's not a whole lot of video games that have an image of everyday people. But you can see that in movies, you can see that in pornography, you know. Um, we want to have more visual media depicting everyday people. But, you know, I recognize fantasy and all that. I, like I said, I love gaming. I love what, you know, what the industry is doing you know, some things, not so much, but, you know, as that's for another video. This is more like an intro to my channel. Uh, so that's what I do on my blog. Aside from that, I, you know, I'm very funny. So a lot of things I do on, on that blog where I have a category, uh, a content series called uh, Spice It Up, and... I recommend gaming titles that can uh, improve your sex life. <laughs> it's really funny. Um, so I'm also going to do a uh, podcast soon. It's called Gamer Love Seat. And I do that with my fiance. And we have like a gaming couple uh, session where we recommend gaming titles for multiplayer. Um, and we talk about, you know, like his opinion, her opinion with certain topics to get, you know, that that fresh uh, opinion on, from both sides going. Uh, I think you'll really enjoy that. So I'll be posting those 
podcast uh, episode on my channel and uh, and on my Google Plus page. Uh, and you know, there's other things I wanted to do, like for instance, interviews. You know, I wanted to uh, interview people that's in the industry or other, uh, you know, vloggers or bloggers. You know, and they could talk about you know their influence on the industry, in the community, and like their content. You know, their, their quality content. What makes it? You know, how does it? How did they come to? creating that type of content. So I really wanted to um, do that. So anyway, thank you for for listening and viewing my ramblings. But, you know, again, welcome to my channel, Spawn Hellraiser. Um, and I am on PSN, uh, Xbox Live. I actually got a... Uh, Xbox card for my birthday that was July 23rd so yeah happy birthday to me um, so I'm gonna be uh, hooking this up uh, probably tomorrow so you can add me on Xbox Live I'm already on there I just haven't I just have the silver so Spawn Hellraiser for Xbox Live PlayStation Network Spawn Hellraiser on that I'm on Steam Spawn Hellraiser, uh, X Fire, Spawn Hellraiser. Uh, since I don't have the Wii U, you know, but if I did, it would be Spawn Hellraiser. <laughs> Unless someone takes it, I hope you don't take my name or I will find you. Um, so, you know, if you want to play some games, just, you know, add me. Let me know. Where you're from, YouTube, you saw my channel, and like, hey, I want to play with you. And I have a fiance, so don't ask me if I have a boyfriend or whatever. <laughs> uh, and uh, thanks again, and see you on the system, and the wickedness will continue. <laughs>